Hey, I'm Andrew. I'm the worship leader here, and I'd like to welcome you to New Life Church. We got a lot of stuff going on, but before I talk about those, I'd like to welcome you if it's your first time here. You can text NLGuest to 97000. It's a great way for us to get to know you better. Hey everybody, Pastor Whalen here. We're having a water baptism service April 7th, and Christ calls all believers to be water baptized. If you haven't been water baptized yet, now is the time. You can sign up on your connection card or by texting NLH20 to 97000. Get water baptized today. Many of you might not know that there's a 50s plus group here at New Life. Well, now you do, and they're having a game night April 9th here at New Life in the Connections area at 6.30. You can sign up on your connection card or there's more details in your bulletin. But hey, I can't wait to join them in 27 years. If you or your family is new to New Life in the last year, we are having a pie night on April 14th at 6.30 p.m. It's gonna be in the community center. It's gonna be such a great night. You can sign up on your connection card and we would love to have you there. Well, that about does it for NL events this week. Hey, don't forget to grab your bulletin, look at all the awesome information in there, and sign up on your connection card, fill that out, and drop it in a generosity box or an awesome bucket as it passes by. But yeah, hey, so glad that you decided to join us. Hope you have a great rest of your Easter Sunday, and good luck on all the rabbit hunting. Hey, good morning, New Life, and happy Easter. We're going to continue to praise and worship God through our giving today. If it's your first time here, we don't expect anything of you. We just want you to enjoy Sunday service. But if you're here, you're a follower of Jesus, and New Life's your church home. We believe that giving and supporting the church is something God calls us to be obedient toward. I want to call our ushers down to the front of the room as we prepare to receive tithes and offerings this morning. Today is Easter, and it is one of the best holidays of the year where we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus and we rejoice in the centerpiece and the foundation of everything that we believe. Uh, and the heart of giving is rooted in Easter weekend. God gave everything for us because he first loved us. And part of our response to that love is to give to him and to others in return. We give to others to, to show them the love of God and to, to lead them to him. We also give to the church, meaning we give back to God as an act of devotion. It's just one of many ways that we acknowledge, God, you gave your life for me. And as a response, this is just one of many ways that I give of myself in return. There are two places you can give here at New Life. There's your tithes and offerings, that's your first 10%. And there's giving above and beyond to what we call kingdom Builders. There's four ways to do that giving at New Life. There's giving online at newlife906.com, text an amount to give to 84321. You can drop an envelope with the ushers as they make their way around in just a few moments or in any of the generosity boxes around the church. Or you can give online through the Church Center app. Uh, if you haven't yet, I want to encourage you to set up online and recurring giving. It's fast, it's easy, and it's convenient. Let's pray together as we move on this morning. Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for the significance that Easter is and the blessing that this day is. And Lord, I pray that we would be moved to have hearts of generosity, not out of obligation, not out of a sense of uh, being forced or compelled, Lord, but that we would be so glad uh, for what you've done for us and so loving and adoring of you that it motivates us to give to others, to bless people, to, to be selfless in our acts of devotion to you, Lord. And so we pray that you bless this offering. Uh, may it be used for wonderful works for your kingdom and it's in your holy mighty and incredible name that we pray and all God's people said, amen. Well, once again, I want to thank you for joining us. The ushers are going to make their way around and it's going to be an amazing, amazing Easter Sunday. Marcia Short. I've been coming to New Life Church for 22 years. I was invited um, by Lorraine Kranz many years ago. And um, after I retired out of the military, I came back here because this was home and I came to New Life and I've never left. When I joined New Life and became a member, um, there were a lot of opportunities for volunteering. So I started in the nursery because I figured I could handle the nursery. Um, and then I went into teaching Sunday school. Then I went into teaching Wednesday night girls ministries. Um, I've been a part of ladies ministries. Um, currently and have been a member of the missions board for almost 20 years and um, I volunteer at the community center every Friday which I love it's great to see 
all the people that are taking advantage of using that building. And, um, I, you know, I hear friends telling me what a great church I have and that the community center is just a wonderful thing for this area. And I have to agree because people that started coming when we opened are still coming, which is neat because I've met a lot of those people and their kids and uh, women that were pregnant that had babies and are bringing their babies now. So it's exciting. Being a volunteer is um, a wonderful thing. I was a new Christian when I came here. Um, I was a little intimidated by teaching Sunday school, but kids taught me too. So it's been a great experience and I keep continuing to volunteer wherever I can. First of all, um, don't overthink it. You know, if you're, if you have an opportunity to volunteer here, um, I had, I was afraid, you know, like I said, I was a new Christian. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do, but God prepared that path. He will give you what you need. Starting off in the nursery was great. Um, moving into teaching Sunday school, it was, it was scary because I really didn't know what I was talking about, but I learned at the same time as the little ones did and just keep learning. When you volunteer, you're gonna learn something from every aspect of it. Meeting all kinds of people, interacting with kids, little kids, um, very different phases of life. And so you kind of have to fall into all, of that cat all their categories, but I don't think there's anything better than volunteering. It gives you a great sense of um, gratitude and appreciation for the fact that you step out and don't be afraid of it. You can always try it for a little while and if it doesn't work, then you just have to let whoever know and maybe try something different. I'm glad I had this opportunity to explain what I've been doing here at church. And um, once again, my name is Marcia Short um, and I hope you all have a blessed Easter.